Can I predict the Euro 2024 semi-final between Netherlands and England using these packs? Yes, this is the second semi-final, Netherlands and England. England are there again against all the odds. have not been great in this tournament, but they are there. Netherlands are there again after a long absence. We're going to be using Tops pack to try and predict the winner of that second semi-final. We've got four packs of match tags and ten packs of the stickers. Five and two in each half. So we're going to start off with the stickers for the first half. It's going to get everything in order. So if you are new, if we get a card or sticker for England, it's going to be a goal for England. Card or sticker for Netherlands is a goal for Netherlands. A goal who will make a save. Badges don't count. Neither do landmarks. What a start for England. This often happens in predictions. I've not rigged it. You saw that. Harry Kane has scored for England. It's the perfect start. 1-0 England. Some Welsh players did not qualify. Top seems to think they, or they should have, or they were going to, but they didn't. There is Emery Chan for Germany. We've got Pelinha for Portugal. I'm going to buy Munich. We've got the Stuttgart Stadium. And some players for Poland. A great start for England in this one. Hurricane's not been too great. We've got a gold signature sticker. Well, it might not be signature. We'll have to have a look. It is a signature of Leroy Sane. That's really nice. Doesn't count for either team, but really nice signature of Leroy Sane. We've got quite a few of these now. Gold signature style sticker of Leroy Sane. Really nice, but we want to see some goals. There's Strakowska for Albania. Sal for Switzerland, who were beaten by England. Silver for Portugal. Some Israel players and and Danzo for Austria. No goals there. As always, let me know who you think will win in the comments below. There is the Spain badge. My pick, well, my new pick to win and be very dangerous in the final. There's legend of Fernando Torres. What a sticker. Liverpool legend. Is he a Liverpool legend? Some people will say not anymore, but I still think he's a legend. Fernando Torres for Spain in that one. John McGinn for Scotland. Some Georgia players. Doku for Belgium. And Netherlands have equalised. It's Daniel Marlon, top 11. For the Netherlands, it's 1-1. One, one. I've actually torn one. Yeah, I literally tore a sticker there. And it's the first time I've ever done that. Sad. Well, it's not my... Look what Look where they've left it. They've left it right where you have to peel it off. That's annoying. All right. Hopefully, it's not one that I needed. Oh, there might be more than one damage there. All right. <laughs> Never mind. There is Benes. Oh, I've damaged all of them. Whoops. There is Cristante for Italy. Kimmich for Germany. So sort of torn up. Probably one I need. There's a Czech Republic landmark. Hanko for Slovakia. And some Polish players. A bit more careful with that one not to destroy any stickers. And England are back in front. It is Cole Palmer. It's 2-1 England. Fantastic. England are back in front with Cole Palmer. Probably won't start or come off the bench, but he counts here. It's 2 1 to England. Kirk is Hungary. Danilo for Portugal. Erakovic, Serbia, and Mlakar for Slovenia. England are in front. Okay, on to our match attack pack to end the first half. Now, uh, more likely to get goals out of these, so. And we get one straight away. Netherlands equalise. There's the code. Just to confirm, Netherlands have equalised. Memphis Depay. It's 2-2. Two, two. They're back in. And there's Kola Mawani. Vardio for Croatia and Man City. Oliver Kahn, legend. Griezmann, ultimate 11. France are still in it. We've got Saka. El Mali and João Felix for Portugal. Okay, one more pack for this half. One more pack of match attacks. The code is coming up. There it is. But we're level at 2-2. There's Lazovic for Serbia. 
Willy Orban for Hungary. Dusan Tadic for Serbia. We've got a purple parallel, graduated GM of Galer. That's nice. I don't know how rare these ones are. I might be worth keeping that one, actually, if it's Galer. So, really nice. We've got Chiesa for Italy. Asani for Albania. Christy. We end with Nego for Hungary. So that's the end of the first half. It is 2-2 in our prediction. We will go to extra time if we need it, but there is the second half to come. Okay, on to the second half. We go starting with the stickers again. We've got a purple parallel to get us started. And it is Armando Broja for Albania. Really nice ones again. I didn't tear that one. So... And there is Luke Thomas, right? Okay, controversially included in this set. He's never played for England, if you didn't know. He's in this set for some unknown reason, but he's scored for England. It's 3-2 in our prediction. He definitely counts. I think he plays for Leicester. I actually have no idea. But he's never played for England. He's just scored. It's 3-2. And we've got a few players here from Greece and Kazakhstan. Netherlands need to come from behind again. We've got Bertongen for Belgium. Kamavinga for France. England are back in front. And we've got the Scotland badge to start this pack off. Very UK themed. We'll be getting England players in this. There's Nico Williams and Rodon. We've got Klein Hessler for Hungary. We've got a landmark, which I think is for neither country. It wouldn't count anyway. Ratio for Romania and Balkovic for Slovenia. On to the next one, we've got Robotnik for Slovenia. We've got Poro for Spain. Adeyemi for Germany. Kral for Czech Republic. We've got a landmark. And then we've got some Estonia players. Not many packs left. And then we're going on to the match attacks. There is Hungary and Liverpool. Well, he's the Hungary captain. He's not Liverpool captain. Dominic Sabozlai has come out there. Doesn't count for either side, though. There is Sotalo for Croatia. Dibuts for Hungary. Paulsen for Denmark. Stadium and... One of the groups. Now, Netherlands is on that, but it's not going to count. No VAR needed. It's not a goal. It stays 3-2 England. Okay, the last pack of stickers. Oh, nice. I know that is. That is Zidane's a damn legend. Is that a special version? I don't know. I think it's only, it looks a bit different because it's unlicensed, but I think it's a normal legend sticker. Zinedine Zidane. Fantastic. I wish he counted as a goal on this, but he doesn't play for England or Obviously, in the Netherlands. There is Fratesi for Italy. Can England pull in front or will Netherlands tie it up before the match attacks? There's Gonok. Balata for Romania. And Elznik for Slovenia. No goals there. Okay, on to our match attacks. No Netherlands or England players on the front of that. We do have Ronaldo with Musiala on there, though. Wouldn't mind getting the celebration Ronaldo in this. We've got a bit of colour in here, but I don't think anything is too special. There is the code for this one. We've got Jamelka for Czech Republic. Granit Xhaka. What a season you had with Bayer Leverkusen. Great tournament as well with Switzerland. We've got an energy there. We do have an energy. There's Koku for Turkey. If it is for Netherlands or England, it's only going to count for one. I know there's a, I think it's a Phil Foden energy. And it's the mean Lamal. Okay, fantastic. One of the players you want to get an energy in. Lamine Lamal, what a player. What a card to get. These got the, the camera, honestly, the film, when you see it on the video, it doesn't do it justice. I mean, you've probably seen energy gardens by now, but that is a fantastic card. And it is, a, he's 16 or 17 now. The wonder kid, Lamine Lamal, fantastic. But no goals yet. Here is Menea for Romania, Rodri for Spain, and Adeyemi for Germany. Down to the last pack, England in front. We do have Cody Gagpo and Harry Kane on the front of this one. So does that mean we're gonna get a goal for each team? 
Cody Gagbo has been amazing this tournament. Harry Kane, not so much. There's Ramsdale. Oh, okay, there is there is the code. This is interesting. So Ramsdale hasn't played a single minute for England, I don't think. But he will make a save if there's another Netherlands card. So that means Netherlands need two just to level it. England are in pole position. He's not going to score. I know a lot of people argue about this. He's not going to score. He's going to make a save. That is very good for England. It means the next Netherlands card would be saved. Netherlands need two, which is going to be very hard to do. But Benucci and Bastoni for Italy. These are stuck together. I don't know if that's a good thing. Why are they stuck together? All right. It is Hozek for Czech Republic. They're not going to do it. It's Bashwai for Belgium. And Fabian Scher for Switzerland. That means England win it. Yes, so the packs have predicted England will win 3-2 and go through to their second consecutive European final. Let me know in the comments if you agree. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.